Oh my god, you guys, am I a bad mother? My plant's totally dying. Oh, oh my god! Alright, maybe I should leave these outside so it can get better. It needs sunlight. Hi you guys, welcome back to another Mask Monday. So for today's video, I'm very excited to be sharing with you guys this cleansing mask by Aesop. So this is the Parsley Seed Mask. I've been wanting to try this brand for so long. Finally, they opened up a store near me, so I was able to get my hands on this. I remember seeing this brand for the first time on some of the known bloggers' IG, and I really, really wanted to try it. So I'm so glad that I'm finally able to get my hands on this. Alright, so I've already washed my face and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. So this is an Australian skincare brand. It's supposed to remove impurities and it's supposed to give you fresh skin. The color is like this. It smells minty. Actually, I really like the smell. At first, you know what? I thought this mask would be a little thicker than this, but it's not. It blends really well on the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and read the ingredients right after I apply this. This mask smells really good. It's not just like good for the first minute and then it stinks after. It's actually really good throughout and it feels so fresh. I have a really bad habit of not layering on my products very thick because I feel like it wastes products that way. So I do it very moderately. And I love how it comes in this tube. It's just aesthetically pleasing. It looks like toothpaste and you can roll it up and I like it because you know when you have a bottle and you have leftover products underneath it's really hard for you to like scoop it up with this you can use it to the last drop and I really like that alright so moving on to the ingredients designed for frequent deep cleansing suited to most skin types this mask removes impurities and refreshes the skin apply a thin even layer of mask over your entire face and neck. Okay, so I did it right. Me trying to conserve products finally did something right. <laughs> Allow to activate for up to 15 minutes before rinsing completely. Use twice a week. There's aloe in there, there's fruit oil, oils, seed oil, there's leaf juice. The mask is kind of tingly and I can feel that it's drying on my skin. So Aesop has over 80 formulations with their brand and it goes from skincare to hair care to body care. You know what, I really want to try their hair care. I wonder if it would work well for my hair because I need a lot of hydration to my hair after damaging it and bleaching it for so many times. This mask includes parsley seed, evening primrose, and rosehip seed. Sounds pretty good to me. So this is kind of like a clay mask. It feels like a clay mask. It looks like a clay mask. The purified clay mask is supposed to pull out any impurities. And then the rosehip and parsley seed, it's supposed to give your skin a big dose of antioxidants and it's supposed to perk it up. So it's supposed to make it plumper. Plumpier or plumper? Plumper, right? If you have dry skin, I know clay mask is supposed to make your face kind of dry. This one's actually really hydrating. I can feel it even though it's like tightening everything up with the aloe vera in there. It helps your skin not feel so tight even though it's clay. Even if you have dry skin, I would give this mask a chance. It feels really nice actually. It feels really like refreshing. As you guys can see, it dries very blotchy and I feel like it's really showing all the problem areas of my skin, especially in the T-zone area and my nose. Basically, products became translucent in this area. If you take a closer look, you can see all of my pores. It kind of magnifies the pores. Can you guys see that? Especially on my nose. Oh yeah, and one thing that I noticed is that it does contain lavender and that's supposed to soothe and cool your face. That's why you get such like a cooling effect plus the minty smell makes it really nice on your skin. So at first, it felt really tight as it was drying, but now it kind of feels normal. It doesn't feel as tight anymore. I'm hoping this mask will make the inflammation from the acne smaller, if not dissolve it completely. That would be amazing. I'm excited! Alright y'all, I just washed off the mask. That was the easiest mask to wash off by the way. 
it kind of just came off. A lot of the times when we do clay mask, it's really hard, it gets everywhere because there's a thick layer on your skin. Because this mask was so thinly put on, it came off right away. And I washed it off with warm water and then I kind of rinsed once again with cold water. You're supposed to wash your face before masking with warm water. It kind of opens up the pores, you mask, you let that soak in, and then you rinse it off. Cool water will close the pores. That way, there's less impurities coming back into your skin after you mask. But the only thing is, there's no exfoliation to the mask. So obviously, you have to do your own exfoliation. Alright, so after masking, what you want to do is to apply a toner and then put your favorite moisturizer on. And that's pretty much it, you guys. For my review on this product, I actually really love this. I like the fact that it's nice and cool and refreshing on the skin. And even after taking it off, it feels pretty nice and refreshed and clean. And you apply a thin layer. So this product will probably last me a very long time. For this tube, you get about 2.4 ounce. Alright, so this mask is priced at about $45. I think the other masks that I reviewed are lower in price, but honestly, I feel like this guy is worth it for $45, especially when you only use a little bit at a time. So this is going to last you a very long time. There's a bunch of online shops that carry this brand. Nordstrom, I know, carries this online. I'm not sure if they have it in store, but if you have a store near you, I definitely check it out. They're very known for their hand soaps also. This is a go for me, so let me know what you guys think of this mask and if you've tried any other products that you would recommend. List them in the comment below so I know to check it out. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys next week. Bye!